Okay, hey everyone and welcome. Uh, in this series we are going to build a chess application uh, in the Java programming language and we will be using the Eclipse RCP platform. So uh, before further ado, let's just download Eclipse RCP first. When you type Eclipse packages to Google search, you should be able to uh, see this packages link and under it uh, download this Eclipse for RCP and RAP developers package uh, and choose the appropriate version for your uh, operating system. So I have already downloaded it so I'm going to close that. And once you download it and uh, run it, it will uh, prompt you to select an empty working directory and once you also do that, uh, you should be able to see this IDE. So uh, navigate to this plugin development perspective and you're good to go. So we are uh, going to build an Eclipse RCP application as I said. So in order to do that, uh, just right click uh, here in the package explorer and select new plugin project. Uh, this plugin project particularly will be our application plugin. So given a name, um, example, yes, app. Uh, then click next and make sure that you choose this uh, plugin will make contributions to the user interface and also uh, create a rich client application. Uh, then in the next page, choose this, this one, Eclipse 4 RCP application. And finally, uh, enable this, create sample content, part menu command. Uh, so we should be able to create our new plugin project uh, right now. So well, since we have chosen this option, it will be uh, come with sample content, as it says. So the sample contents are uh, things like commands, Handler, handlers, parts. So I'm just going to explain them to you as they become, become necessary. Uh, but what I want to show you right now is something called a part. So uh, when you open this application e4xmi file, it's already uh, open for us. Uh, under Windows and Dialogs, it has created a trim window and in the controls section it has created a part stash container, a part stack and uh, a part in a nested way. So uh, it has created a sample part and it has referenced this part uh, to a Java class. So uh, this class is the sample part class located uh, in the com example chess app parts package. So when you go to the source folder and navigate to that package, you should be able to see that sample part class. So what that means is uh, this application e4 xmi file is a kind of blueprint of our Eclipse RCP application. And uh, this specifies uh, the location uh, with respect to this trim window and other uh, views, other parts. But it doesn't specify the contents and the behavior of that part. So we uh, have to provide it, it with, a, with an implementation class, basically. So here we are uh, specifying uh, the widgets and the functionality of that sample part. So, uh, to demonstrate uh, this to you, I'm just going to launch our application. Uh, to do that, uh, we're just going to open up this product configuration file. It has also created this for us. Uh, and just by clicking this launch an eclipse application button we can launch our application 
and sh it should display our single part and also uh, the functionality provided by this sample part class. So here is uh, our sample part. Here's a text field and some other widgets. So for example, let me show you uh, the text field. So that's uh, the SWT widget. We are using the SWT library for uh, our graphical user interface. And this text input is created uh, in this post construct annotated method. So uh, I'll show you how to do that, but I'm just, I just want you to know that uh, everything here is handled in this class. So in order to uh, show you uh, more basically, I'm going to delete the, some unnecessary stuff. I'm just going to delete that and also uh, these things. Get rid of table viewers. Uh, okay. So, and delete this, modify this. Uh, actually, delete everything right now. I'm just going to show you the simplest form of an uh, Eclipse RCP part. So I'm just going, going to close this application. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is delete something else in this application e for exam I. What I'm going to delete is basically uh, the unnecessary stuff that we are not going to use. For example, we are not going to use a main menu in our chess application. Also, we are not going to use any commands. Uh, you have to delete them one by one, I guess. Also, we don't need any handlers. Uh, I was going to explain what these thing what uh, these things are, but since we don't need them, I'm just going to skip uh, at least for now. So I guess we don't need that too. Okay, so add-ons. Uh, so it doesn't matter. I'm just leave that. So instead of a text field, let's just create a label. It's another SWT widget. So uh, to create a label, just type label, new label. So this uh, constructor takes in two arguments. One of them is a composite uh, that this widget is created on. It's going to be this parent composite. And also it's going to take a style constant. So from SWT, you can see uh, some style options. We can just, for example, select border. And also you can select multiple things by this bitwise or operation. So let's just uh, select one more thing. For example, let's just make it bold. And we, we are going to set layout data of this label, a grid data. It's not mandatory, but uh, I'm just going to comment that to show you that it's not a mandatory a semicolon. And finally, uh, this should be labeled, okay. Finally, uh, let's add a text to this label. Set text. Okay. 
Hello. So once we uh, run our application again, we should see our new label this time. Uh, we'll use this part to display our chessboard uh, in the future when we uh, build our chess engine. We will display, uh, so as you see, here's our label and it has a border. It doesn't look like it's bold, so it doesn't matter, uh, I guess, at the moment. So I, I was saying that um, we are going to use this part to display our chessboard and its squares in its 8x8 square mat matrix and in each on each square uh, there may or may not be a chess piece so uh, for example when we double click on a square we should be able to move our piece to uh, a load locations on the chessboard so since we are going to use this part as a chessboard uh, we can rename it right now yes. right. okay and also uh, let's make sure it, it is updated in here also this part should point to okay it doesn't look like it, it updated so I'm just going to delete and select once more yes board part yeah and also I'm just going to rename the label yes board. okay why let's just close that and Open it again. It should get updated. Okay, it looks like yeah, it points to the right class now. So, uh, what we did in this video is we learned how to create an application plugin and created a part and linked this part to uh, one of our classes and in that class we learned how to create a SWT widget uh, we will continue by uh, improving this uh, part but uh, we should of course uh, implement our chess engine to display our pieces and squares also, let me just delete this package because we deleted handlers from the user interface to make things simpler. Okay, uh, so see you on the next video. Take care.